Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. What we're going to be doing today is diving into creating the dragon effect, which is this really highly sharpened, uh, extremely processed look. Now, I do recommend that you only do this on males that are a little bit older and they have more detail in their skin. Uh, that's a, I'm trying to say that kindly. This gentleman here, he looks like it will work out perfectly fine. I don't recommend doing this on any females, but you know, uh, to each their own art is subjective. So let's go ahead and dive in. So it's actually extremely easy to create this effect inside of on one. All you're going to do is come to the filter section and we are going to add a grunge filter. Now I recommend pulling down the amount uh, probably to like right under the T and this is just that overall like darkening effect uh, the dragon effect does have this darkening look to it um, but if it's too dark for you and based off of the image maybe you shot it at night or not in such great light then you can pull up the brightness here and as you pull up the brightness, you see it's almost like a shadow slider where it's opening up the shadows of this effect. And then, of course, the real powerhouse, if you will, to this effect is the details. So if you pull up on the details, you start to see that effect shine through. Now, I have the brightness on this guy way too high. So let me just pull this down a touch. And I want to bring up the detail as much as I want on here. Uh, and for me, I like to over bake it so that way I can dial it back in. This means I'll probably come about 70. Now that to me is just way too much. Maybe it would be perfect for your photo. Then what I'm going to do is hit the gear icon, come down to the bottom and click on luminosity. Now, the reason why I'm choosing luminosity here is because I only want this to affect the brightness values of the image overall. I don't want to change my colors, especially if you have some really cool colors in your image. Now, all I have to do in order to get this to work is to pull this opacity down and blend it back with my original photo because I, you know, for me, my taste, I like a little bit more subtlety uh, to my edits. But if I turn this off and on, you can just see how much is uh, becoming sharpened with this effect. Now, to take this a step further, if you use the AI masking capabilities, so I'm just going to click on people and hit apply. And we're going to invert this because I only want it on the subject. But then... I only really want it on his face. I don't think that we need this effect down on his shirt and everywhere else, uh, maybe on his skin. So I'll just go ahead and paint this away. I'm at 100% opacity and a brush appropriate to the size of painting away from his clothes. And it's okay if I go a little bit over the shoulder. This doesn't have to be a perfect mask overall. Um, and then I probably could leave it here on his uh, head wrap, but I'm just going to go ahead and take it off of there as well. So now this brings more attention to his face. And I think that's where uh, we want it to ultimately be. Now what I would do is come over to the local tab. I'm going to click on add adjustment. And then I like to invert this entire mask. So whatever I apply down here is going over the entire mask. Now, we've already had the conversation that we want this applied to just the uh, individual. So you could go back to the effects and copy the mask, or you can just recreate it. And for this purpose, I'm just going to apply it to just the person here. And I'm going to invert this because I want to apply it. Any adjustments that I make, I want to apply directly to the person. And what I'm going to do here is pull up on the structure and this is going to help refine some of that detail. Now, I didn't change the blend mode in the adjustments or in the local adjustments tab because this is where I want to have that finer detail and control over exposing and maybe even modifying the color. All right. So 
For this one, all I'm doing is pulling up on the exposure. And if I wanted to make it a little bit more contrasty overall, then I can pull down on the blacks. And that gets me like a more uh, edgy look to the overall image. So if I turn this particular effect off and on, you can see it brightens it up, but it also puts more punch into the face. Now, uh, the sample video that I watched from Anthony Morganti, which is going to be linked down below, he talked about uh, desaturating the skin. So, you know, if you wanted to go with a desaturated look, well, you can do that as well in on one and it's actually pretty easy. So what we're going to do is create a new adjustment and then we're going to invert this layer. If you don't invert it, you're not going to see the effect. Right now we have the exposure on, so I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't want to af affect the exposure. And then we're going to scroll down here and I am going to desaturate this. And I'm only looking at the skin and you'll see why here in a second, because that's one, the only place that I want it to desaturate everything else. I want to have that saturation. So, uh, but I don't want it like black and white, even though this looks pretty cool. I am going to desaturate this uh, just a touch, maybe to about there. All right. So if I turn this off and on, you can see that I've taken the saturation out of the entire image. Well, that's not what I want. So first I'm going to create a mask, hit people, hit apply, and it is going to apply the mask or outside of the person. But now I have it only on the individual. Well, the reason why I do that is because I'm going to now come up here to my settings icon and I'm going to click the eyedropper tool right next to apply. And I'm going to click somewhere on his forehead and apply it to just the gentleman's skin. All right. Now, if I didn't set this mask, this um, adjustment would be going across the entire image and I don't want that. I only want it to work in the areas that I want it to work, which is on the person. And you can refine this mask even more by removing it from the clothes and only having his skin showing. So that way, when you make your adjustments here, you're making the adjustments only to the skin. So as I pull down the saturation, you can see it's not affecting anything inside of his clothing. It's only affecting his skin. So now I have a really fine tune or refined mask to work off of. And I can even increase the saturation if I really, really wanted to. And you see that gives a different effect. So I can pull down on the saturation and I have that control. And then of course you also have vibrance. So if you want to pull down saturation, increase vibrancy to get a different look, you just have so many options available to you inside of on one when it comes to creating an effect like this. Now, the last thing that I will share with you, if you have dialed in your effect and you're like, yes, this is good. This is what I want. And I don't want to keep making this effect. Well, if you click on the actual effects module here, you can save it as a preset by hitting the drop down and then you can rename this to whatever you want. Now, I've already created the dragon effect and saved it as a preset and it is inside of my testing ground presets. So uh, what I'm going to do is click on the dragon effect that I created earlier uh, today and it's going to refresh the entire picture and add in all of those pieces that I just created uh, or that I just walked you through. So I don't have to make this every time I have my settings dialed in. And then all I have to do is really adjust my opacity and do my masking. And I'm on my way. Now, if you're using Photo Raw 2023, you can create an adaptive preset for this. So, you know, if you want to save this with the uh, person already cut out because I, again, only believe that this is an effect meant for portraits. Uh, please correct me in the comment section if I am mistaken, but 
I believe this is only for portraits. And then you can come over to the local tab and this one actually has uh, the mask applied. So uh, I'll invert that because it's the wrong way. If you found value in the content, go ahead and smash the like button, consider subscribing, and if you want to see more about photo editing and on one, click the video on the screen now. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.